We are Dee and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Ooh, ooh, yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. After a year and eight months, we returned to the United States from Mexico. We have to admit that we felt at home in Mexico. We were fortunate to have met many great people who became like family. We were a diverse group from Texas, Idaho, Virginia, New Jersey, California, Canada, Sweden, and Russia. As the end of November approaches, we find it harder and harder to find a window to leave. And finally, we gambled just a little and found a small hole allowing us to leave the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Seas will be a little rough leaving, but we hoped it would calm before dark and we could beat the next cold front. Fortunately, we now have Starlink and knew we'd be able to check on the weather. Tuesday morning, we are now sure we are headed to Marathon, but I almost pulled the plug on leaving. The worry was that no crossing windows were in our near future. So we're off the dock at 7.45 a.m., and once out the inlet, the waves become consistent from the northeast, but decently spread out with some slams. It's doable, so we continue. The occasional beam rollers begin once we are out of the inlet and stop after about an hour. We're fully committed now to the crossing. This is a day where you get a seat and you keep it. And even at that, your core is getting a continuous workout, trying to keep you stable. The time goes by slowly. And even though we have the Yucatan current in our favor, the wind and waves are not allowing us to gain time with the current. By four in the afternoon, when we hoped for a change, nothing has changed. Before sunset, we get out the Great Kazoo, our Starling, and check the weather. All seems good and no major changes ahead. At this point, we are 9 to 10 hours from the tip of Cuba, and we, which we hope will provide protection. We enjoy the sunset, but not the darkness that follows. We say our prayers and are thankful that the moon is in the first quarter, so we have some light until around 1.30 in the morning. By 2 a.m., we have reached the tip of Cuba, and the seas are beginning to lay down, and it's a welcome to relief. Once we lose the moon for the night, it will be 5.45 before we will see light on the horizon again. But we're not alone out here, as we've seen tankers and cargo ships and at least 10 cruise ships during our crossing. As the sun rose around 7 a.m., the seas calmed to soft swells, cradling journey, lifting her and easing her back down in a smooth rhythm. It's a great morning with our coffee, enjoying the seas. And off our starboard bow, we watch a whale blow many times. But I didn't think of a video until it was almost past us. But here's what we were able to capture. We have slowed down, averaging about seven knots, so the time and miles are passing slowly, but we're thankful for the calm seas. Around 11 a.m., we are greeted off our port bow with a large pot of dolphins jumping. They ride our bow, then jump in our wake for about 10 minutes, and we take it as a good sign from God that He has us and will protect us through the unknown of the next day. We can get there before it hits the keys and get protected. But over there is a cruise ship. I'll be waiting on you with and it would be the Well count one waiting to dock in Kusamel when we left. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's either seventh or eighth we've seen this trip back along with quite a few tankers and cargo ships. Very busy week, Thanksgiving week out here on the seas. But just giving you a 
little just it's just flat calm and probably no wind and we are praying for this all the way to the keys later in the day a little bird joins us on board journey he seemed tired and needed some rest but then headed off toward cuba last we saw him as the sun begins to set we get the great gazoo out and check the weather again some models are showing wind will be up in the morning, but others are conflicting, so we enjoy another beautiful sunset and the calm waters. We're expecting to enter the Gulf Stream at 8 p.m., but it was actually a little later. We have increased to 7.5 knots, so we're hoping for 9.5 when we hit the Gulf Stream. The moon's a little brighter and will last a little longer tonight. We have to force ourselves to remember how beautiful this is, even though we cannot truly appreciate it in the moment, as we are in a hurry-up-and-get-there mode sunrise we are approaching and passing Key West. The seas are eerily calm with a slight haze. For us this is one of the greatest Thanksgiving mornings ever. God is good and prayers have been answered because the morning weather report shows a stalled front. Although we were headed toward Marathon we now set our sights on an earlier point into the Keys, the Bahia Honda Bridge. As we pass under it we find it ironic that this is where we left from back in March 2022. Our route now is up the Big Spanish Channel and into Shark River for a 4.30 p.m. arrival before sunset. We finally drop the anchor. Are we really going to shut the engines down after 58 hours straight? Yes, and it's strange and eerily quiet. It's hard for us to describe how we felt, but for sure accomplished and thankful. We had celebratory cocktails and meatloaf with mashed potatoes. Happy Thanksgiving. Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment. Oh, 